welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to check out the very first figure in an upcoming toy line from the folks over at Premium DNA Toys. Now, this isn't just any figure, of course. This is from the days of Playmates Toys, SNES, Sega Genesis, and a little bit of the N64. Of course, I'm talking about Earthworm Jim but this one being the Toy Collector Magazine exclusive mail-away edition. Now, the box itself, Earthworm Jim and his logo is all over it, but it is a slipcase cover of which unveils the very cool variant of Jim's black and green suit. You can even see the artwork right there, and he does come with snots. Now, this particular suit is pretty darn cool and it really lends itself well to the artwork. In fact, there's a little bit of a bio to it, so if you want to screen grab this, you can read up on old Earthworm Jim and you can see on the side of the box all the other upcoming characters in the wave. And on the back side, you get a nice layout of every single thing this figure comes with. Now, for those of you confused way back in the days of the 90s, Playmates Toys had an Earthworm Jim action figure line, which coincided with the video games, of course, but there was also an animated series. Now, there was a mail-away exclusive, of which you see here, and it was obtained if you, well, just to kind of make this the easiest way possible, beat the game in a certain way and got a code and called the phone number, gave them said code, and they would mail it to you, and that's really the general idea of this. So the green and black suit came with two weapons. It also came with an angry looking snot. And Jim also featured his head projectile action. Of course, this one doesn't have the head projectile for the new figure, but hey, that would have been totally awesome. But now you know the history of the green and black suit earthworm Jim. And we can finally get to a look in at this new beauty here. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot groovy cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Toy Collector Magazine Mail Away exclusive, the green and black suit Earthworm Jim with snots from the Earthworm Jim toy line by Premium DNA. And so now here's Jim and all his accessories out of the packaging. And if you were wondering, yes, the box is resealable. You will have to cut some tape to pull everything out. But once you're done playing with Earthworm Jim, you can throw him right back into the packaging. He does come with several hands. This one being, of course, the gun slash trigger holding hands. They're done nicely, sculpted well, although you kind of see some of the seams. He also has some expressive jazz hands along with some fisted hands. So overall, a nice selection of hands to really bring this character to life. You do get a slug of a figure in his little booger buddy, Snot. And he looks great. His little tongue is out. There's not going to be any paint. It's very reminiscent of the original figure's snot, although I would have liked to have seen an angry face for this version of snot to, again, match the previous 90s Playmates release. Now, you get the big bulk plasma blaster. Again, it's all done in green. It's really well done. I actually really like this. And again, better matches the old school figure being all one color. And that's it for the accessories, although it would have been cool if he had his really big crow croaking gun, just like the original figure had. But you do get an Earthworm Jim action figure in the packaging as well. So I guess... I guess that's a nice trade-off, right? So the greens, the blacks, the whites, and then you got that Earthworm Jim face right there, all of which is painted pretty darn cool. I like the little subtle paint around the segments of the worm. That's cool. The white is nicely done. He has black eyebrows, which this one kind of has a little tinge. It kind of looks like he got tweezed a little bit. But overall, the head portrait is really cool, and I like the big green giant eye and his little black marble eye. But yeah, you get pretty decent articulation. It's pretty cool. If you don't know Earthworm Jim, he's an earthworm inside a giant mechanical body. You can pull the head off if you so desire and swap it out between the head portrait box. If you have that yet, I do not. So more on that later. But yes, everything will swap. Everything is easy peasy getting it in, getting it out. And I dig that. So more Earthworm Jim figures are coming on my channel. Just be prepared. But for now, we just have this one. Articulation-wise for the arms, they'll go all the way up as such. They'll go out. Pretty decent articulation for the bicep. He does have 
double jointed elbows, kind of, sort of, although they feel more like single. And no, this is not going to look the best in terms of articulation, if I'm being honest. But it does the trick, as you'll soon see, in getting him in all of those earthworm gym poses. I just wish you had a little bit more of an angle there. And I don't really care for the type of articulation that they use. It's very mechanical. And I've seen that before in recent other companies' figures. It's just... Not for me, but that is more of a nitpick. Some of the paint is a little bit dodgy here and there. Thankfully, it's only in one or two areas, but you do get some nice wrist articulation up, down, left, right. The one thing I will point out, and it might just be on mine, but this side where the hand connects is a little bit looser than I would definitely like for a new figure on this side, totally fine. It's in there. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall out. This side, however, it's not going to fall out. It's just a little bit looser, like I said, than I would like. It doesn't really catch, if that makes any sense. See how it kind of jiggles a little bit? That would just be something to point out. And again, it could just be on my copy. Now, right here in the ab crunch, you're not gonna get much of an ab crunch. In fact, it's not really gonna move much at all. These straps that are on the front and the back of the figure are glued to the lower abdomen. So if anything, he will just kind of rock. So it kind of negates that extra articulation point that they put in. So it's kind of a bummer in that sense because you don't want to move it too far in fear that the glued on straps are going to come loose or you're going to pull too hard and it might pull the paint. So in that sense, yeah, not much in terms of the upper diaphragm but he will spin at the waist. He also has his little gun pouch right there. Unfortunately, you can't put the gun in. It's obviously too small for that. The legs will kick out about that much. On this side, because of the gun pouch, you won't be able to kick off to the side too much. He has kind of a thigh, but it's more towards the groin. On this side though, you get to see it's a little bit better movement because you don't have to deal with said gun pouch. Double jointed knees gets you about right there. I like his small little robot legs and you got these big old clod hopper feet, which actually keep him standing rather nicely. They'll swivel, they'll go up and down. If you were wondering, the top of the backpack does come off of which if you have the other figures, the other versions of Snot, you could definitely use that with this figure. Again, I don't have the other ones just yet, but once I do, I will show you how everything works, but that's a nice touch. And I totally dig that thought of having everything really just be interchangeable. So when I finally get the head portrait pack, that's gonna be fun to see all the different expressions and whatnot. But again, it's overall pretty cool in terms of the articulation. Again, the paint, maybe a couple dabs here and there. The one thing I would say is just the loose hand on one end and then just that upper diaphragm. But for the most part, it's a cool looking earthworm gym. And when you give him the blaster and you get him all posed out, yeah, that's really what I'm looking for. And that's really where the fun of all the old video games comes in. The craziness that was those old video games for those of you who have played it. And those games were hard. I don't care what anybody says. Those were some hard video games back in the day, but you played them into the ground. However, if you're anything like me back in the day, I didn't have a Genesis or an SNES and usually had to rent one for the weekend from Blockbuster Video, for those of you who remember that. But those were the fun days, or you go over to a friend's house. But if you give this Earthworm Jim a flight stand, you can get him hopping around those levels and trying to find those pesky cans of worms. In terms of the height for said Earthworm Jim, He's going to roughly be around that six inch, maybe a little bit smaller. You can see NECA Toys, the new Jack Specific Simpsons, Mezco, Marvel Legends slash G.I. Joe. So in and around the six inch line. But I got to tell you, for those of you who are DC Multiverse, DC Collectors, because this highly resembles a Green Lantern costume, this might fit in rather well with your Green Lantern core because... That's just an Earthworm Jim in a Green Lantern suit, and he could be from a different planet. Who knows? And so that's going to wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Toy Collector Magazine Mail Away exclusive, the premium DNA green and black suit, Earthworm Jim. And again, thank you to my friends over at Toy Collector Magazine for sending this out for the purposes of this video. I do have some minor nitpicks with this figure. But it is my nitpicks alone, and perhaps you would think otherwise, that 
always, I'm curious to know what you guys think. So comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Earthworm Jim. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, stay tuned. Eventually, we will have full looks at the entirety of the Earthworm Gym line. We can get some more accessories going, get the whole backpack with snot and all that jazz and all the other psychros and Professor Monkey for a head and the goldfish. This is why. This is why Earthworm Gym is fun, and this is why I love that premium DNA not only bring it back Battletoads, Banjo Kazooie, and Earthworm Jim, it's just these fun toy lines that you really don't see anymore these days. And yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with them. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.